do a quick tutorial on making your own dubbing, laser dub in particular. Um, some nonsense and some facts about it. Laser dubbing is made out of acrylic. This is the yarn that I'm using. I cut in sections, one inch sections of the different colors. Actually, they're, they're two inches. And what happens when you do the dubbing the way I've seen some tutorials where you, you're putting the dubbing in the brush and then stroking it back, you end up with so much waste. You end up with knots, lots of knots that you cannot get out and you have to pick through it. So I've come up with a system that works very well and I want to show you some beautiful fibers here. This is, these are called Angelina fibers. Look how gorgeous that is. There's gold in there and blue. Got these on Etsy. Etsy, however you pronounce it. That's the company. These were this is a whole half ounce, both of these, three and a quarter each. And she gave me a sample of this really nice gold. But anyway, you know, you might say, what the hell do you want to make your own dubbing for? Well, I just spent $5.99 for a bag of white laser dubbing. And I'm like, man, I feel very violated. So what you do, and you know, this takes a while, but if you got time, and you don't mind doing it, it's worth it. Now to save time, I'm not gonna make a whole bag of it. I'll show you the finished product. But what you do is take five, six, seven, ten strands, put them in the pliers, lay it down. This is a, a cutting sheet, and brush it out, turn it around. how soft that is and then take it out flip it around position the fibers nice and skinny so you can pinch them in your pliers lay it down turn it around and voila you've got the length that you cut and it's not all chopped up if you do it this way it chops it up into little pieces and you get lots of knots. Now once you get a, a good amount of this built up, you lay it down and you take out the dubbing that you want to use, or the uh, Angelina fiber, and lay it on top, and fold it over. I like a lot of this stuff, so I think it's gorgeous. And then stab it with the brush, and now you do this. To mix it and your last will be a pull away and you'll pretty much clear the brush and now it'll all be down in the brush careful not to stick your fingers straight down in it smarts and get that out of there that was the residual and that's what you have align the fibers and you have exactly two inch cuts with Angelina fiber in there. Some of that. Is that not gorgeous? I don't know if the camera can pick up all that glistening. But that is how I make it. I made something that tan color. Look how soft that is. That is the best way to make your own dubbing. And here's the blue with the, this is called Blue Magic. I don't know if you can pick up the sparkle in there. But when you align that, they're all 
exactly what you wanted in length and it's not all chopped up. So there you go. It's a truth in blending. <laughs> um, but don't forget, this stuff, that's the ticket for your sparkle, if you like that in your dubbing. And when you buy a laser dub, that's what's in there, Angelina fiber. And you can't go wrong with a half ounce of these two colors. Uh, Blue Magic and Blaze Crystallina were the two colors that I bought from Etsy from this vendor right here. And she put in the sample of this color. So remember, don't use cotton. Use acrylic. It's softer. It is a Petroliana product, it's man-made acrylic um, versus wool, you know, which is a natural product, obviously. Uh, it's a better insulator, it's better for subsurface flies and floating flies because of its density, but it does not get as soft as this acrylic does. So, hope somebody learned something from this.